One of the projects that Jimi Hendrix worked on at Electric Lady's studio during the summer of 1970 was an album called The Ghetto Fighters. Recorded by his longtime friends and vocal backup group, Tahaka and Tundera Ali. Hendrix took time to add lead solos and rhythm guitars on several of their tracks, which have been recorded in late 1969 at Fame Recording Studios in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. The album was planned to be a street opera, along the line of a rock opera, but with more contemporary themes intended for the black community. These productions would consist of musical vignettes describing various life spectrums in the urban inner cities. Even though the Aline brothers continued to work on the project for some time after Hendrix's death, it was eventually abandoned in 1972. The Aline stored the master tapes for the Ghetto Fighters in a vault and only began negotiations for its release with the Hendrix family in 1995. Hi. I'm here at the home of the fantastic Aleems, also known as the Ghetto Fighters in Brooklyn, New York City. We're here to discuss projects that they are currently working on and also the past, their past with the great Jimi Hendrix. Um, I'd like to start the questioning off to Tahaka Aleem. The Ghetto Fighters was one of the last groups and projects that Jimi Hendrix worked on what were you guys doing? Will you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah. In June of 1969, I went over to California to meet Jimmy at the Beverly Rodeo Hotel. And uh, Jimmy was doing an interview with a Rolling Stone reporter by the name of Jerry Hopkins. And uh, Jimmy explained it eloquently exactly what our purpose and what we were going to be doing in the future with the Sky Church and the uh, 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 Band of Gypsies and the Ghetto Fighters and the projects that we would be working on. Unfortunately, Jimmy died. However, we carried on the, the legacy, the mission, and uh, a lot of it will be seen in what we call the Urban Street Tales. What are Urban Street Tales? Urban Street Tales are musical vignettes, stories from the hood, tales, episodes, raw street adventures, the old radio concept blended with the new, with today. That's Urban Street Tales. What inspired you to create Urban Street Tales? Well, you know, in the 50s, I listened to a lot of radio. Radio was real heavy. That was the main source of entertainment during that time. Radio offered a major venue for acquiring news and current events to a young, growing world starving for information. The early radio programs also presented new forms of creative imagination. These programs exemplified themselves most artistically in a range of series or shows that were dubbed as the soap operas. Jimmy's guitar wizardry invoked in us a childhood time when we listened to the radio with its drama, the words, the music, allowing our imagination to run wild. That's Urban Street Tales, clear art, DMS, drama, music, and storytelling, inspired by our life experiences. I understand that you have an Urban Street Tales that features the ghetto fighters, Jimi Hendrix, and some original music in a vignette titled Jimi Hendrix and the Ghetto Fighters. What is that all about? And do you think we can hear a piece of it? Yes, you can hear it. Uh, this Clairot DMS is a reenacted story of um, Jimmy, my brother, and I. And it focuses on some of our Harlem adventures together. And it also points out um, some dangerously close encounters that Jimmy had with some notorious gangsters in Harlem. It features uh, original music written by my brother and I, you know, with uh, Buddy Miles, Ghetto Fighters, and um, Jimmy playing guitar. You know, it's interesting because it, it opens up with a street gangster by the name of Mookie who takes credit for naming the Ghetto Fighters. And he takes you through the story, introduces you in, in a brilliant way. So you have to hear this one. Speaking of creativity, 
I see that you have a video titled Creativity, the Jimi Hendrix Harlem Press Conference included in the Urban Street Tale box set package. Will we be seeing a clip of this video? You're going to see footage of uh, what we call the Harlem Press Conference creativity. The press conference footage is brilliantly edited with classic footage of Jimmy in concert and footage taken at the 1995 Hendrix Memorial Concert in Seattle, Washington. You'll see Jimmy's father, Al Hendrix, the ghetto fighters, Buddy Miles, and a host of other people. The music that you'll hear playing is original music written and performed by the Arlene's Ghetto Fighters, featuring Leroy Burgess on vocal and the great Jimi Hendrix on guitar. And I think that you're going to find it interesting because it's part of a bonus footage that we're going to be using. I'm curious, who is Fabulous Fats? And what is the musical vignette Fabulous Fats and the Harlem World Crew all about? Well, the... Uh, Fabulous Fats was a very flamboyant character from the 60s and he was very powerful and very well known in the streets of Harlem and we were compelled to do a urban street tale on him and the Harlem World crew because you know he just etched his way up to the annals of time in the urban street tales and so uh when you see one of the Urban Street Tales, you're going to learn a little bit more about Fabulous Fats. Fats also was very instrumental, by the way, in uh, introducing us to Jimmy. And so we put it all together, and you'll see it in the Urban Street Tales. Can you tell us about the Urban Street Tale titled The Weight? The Weight is the story of the life in jail, life in the penal system, the murder, the mayhem, the warp minds, the, uh, you know, the mentality of people that are waiting in prison. I notice all the vignettes that you mentioned are hardcore. Do you have any lighter or softer street tales? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, we're working on a children's series of urban street tales. These children urban street tales will be released on E9 Disc in the fall of 06. These musical vignettes are lighthearted stories written by the Ghetto Fighters with original music composed by Taharka and Tunera Arlene. These exciting children urban street tales are certain to entertain while teaching young children morals, respect, and love for self and for other cultures. The powerful characters in these stories will help to instill positive value in your child. Uh, there's been a rumor that you and your brother are currently working on an animated musical mythology. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, we are working on an animated musical mythology. It's called Jimmy and the Moo. This mythology will feature original music composed by the Ghetto Fighters with legendary Jimi Hendrix on guitar. It is a magical voyage into the enchanted world of a young musician who was able to do some amazing things with an instrument that he was inspired to build. It is an exciting journey that is certain to enlighten the viewer to a new dimension in music and in entertainment. Who are the Fantastic Arlemes? The Fantastic Arlemes is uh, the Ghetto Fighters. <laughs> it was a means after Jimmy died it was the name that we choose in order for us to move on in the, in the music industry. Fantastic, because we were going through a lot of fantastic things. You know, I mean, losing Jimmy is a fantastically unbelievable scenario that we had to live with. Alim means the Noah and or the identify, and we had to identify what we needed to do in order for us to move on and become successful. Through that name, Ali, the Fantastic Arlene's, we had the opportunity to work with a lot of fantastic people. People like Luther Vandross, Rick James, uh, New Kids on the Block, Wu-Tang, many of them, many more. And, uh, and it's just continuously fantastic. You also recorded songs on three of Jimmy's albums, Cry of Love, Rainbow Bridge, and War Heroes. Tell us about those experiences, and what did you learn from working with Hendrix? 
Yeah, in one of our uh, uh, Urban Street Tales, uh, a radio personality by the name of Frankie Crocker asked us that same question. And I like the way we approach it. I like the way we answered it in the Urban Street Tales. So pick up a box. 